to a new weekly vlog. I'm gonna start off with saying I may have realised that my vlogs have started going live on a Thursday now and that is just because I think it just works with my schedule and everything like that. I hope you don't mind, I hope that's okay with you. It just seems to work a little bit more for me and to produce a little bit more content. So yeah, and apologies, I feel like I have missed a couple of weeks but I will get back into the swing of things. I think I was just taking August a little bit slow. I feel like we're getting into the transitional season now which is kind of exciting in the sense of fashion for me because it gets a bit more inspiring and we get a bit more playful with layers and textures and colours. So it's very, very exciting. I'm picking up the camera because yesterday I actually went to and other stories and I picked up this gorgeous, this is like a really incredible transitional bag. This is from And Other Stories and this is really gorgeous, medium size, weaved leather, kind of like tote shoulder bag and I just thought it was so gorgeous. Also as well, this could be really lovely in the summer as well, so that's why I'm saying it's quite a good like transitional piece. I have it in black and in brown, I picked up the black because I feel like it's just going to do a lot more in my wardrobe. Um, but I thought I'd quickly pack it with you as I'm just about to head out the door. I have a little cosmetic bag that I now just keep in my bags. It's just easier just to like change from different bag to bag. This is from Summer Fridays and this is a really lovely like warm tone. I've got my hourglass press powder in here, my comb. This is the Fleur Vanilla Skin hand sanitizer this is the hand hydration hand sanitizer in bright rose it smells delicious i have my mints some cards lip lip combo of choice is the glossier this is the lip liner in grip this is really nice and then i've also got my summer fridays iced latte lip balm cards chargers airpods and yeah, that is in my little cosmetics bag. And charger, need a charger. But yeah, I'm off for a really lovely day. I have actually first started off the day with a podcast. I'm actually going on my friend Izzy's podcast. I don't know when it's going live, but I'll leave her um, podcast profile down below. And then hopefully I'll get an idea of the dates and then I can kind of share with you soon. And then I'm actually going for lunch in Central with my friend Chloe, which we so lovely to catch up. So I've got quite a nice socializing, very lovely day today. Um, just wearing a very monochrome look. I've just got my And Other Stories ribbed vest top in the black. I'm wearing a little cashmere jumper. These are from Marks and Spencers by their autobiography, I think. And oh my God, I have a few of them. They are the best cashmere jumpers. Really affordable as well. And they're just really lovely, light, thin jumpers, which are incredible for this transitional period. So when it's a little bit fresher in the mornings and the evenings, they're just good to just chuck on your shoulders. And then I've just paired it with my linen, my linen dish skirt and my Gucci loafers. But I am literally ran out the door, so I'm going to have to show you maybe later my outfit in full, or I'll just leave a little video here because I have been filming my outfits and stuff on TikTok recently and really enjoying it. But anyway, let's quickly uh, head over to Izzy because we are heading over to Barnes, which I've never been to, for the podcast, and I think we're gonna go and get a matcha beforehand. different top, um, conversations like friendship, dating, social media. Social media, meat eating. Meat veganism. eating. We covered lots of very, very helpful topics. It's very exciting. Very excited. And this is coming out end of September or like around. End of September, early October, we'll have all the links. Stunning. Now. I'll leave it all down below. <laughs> Oh, but 
Yeah, this little pop-up always has something different. Mm. I love it, it's cute. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, I've got brain freeze. <laughs> my dining room table literally looks like an office. An at-home office. I'm having to use my old big computer because my laptop has crashed. Good morning, guys. I've just got ready. Um, I'm just getting ready to head out the door. I'm heading out to a hardcore Pilates class in Notting Hill. I'm actually meeting a girl who has a company called Glow and I'm really intrigued to get a know about her company and her. We've been kind of like on and off messaging over the past like maybe year or so. It'd be really nice to actually meet her and talk to her and do a lovely hardcore Pilates class. You know when it's a good purchase when you cannot stop wearing it? This is the And Other Stories Leather Weaved Bag and it's just such a good bag, like such a good work bag. Putting on my more wine souffle uh, little hat because it is raining outside. So yeah, so heading over to Notting Hill for a matcha and a little Pilates class. Just putting on the fleur. This is the father figure. It's delightful. But yeah, it's really gloomy outside. It's raining. I've got lights on. It's the start of winter, guys. Even though next week it's going to be like 29 degrees again, which is delightful. It is feeling like winter. I've just got my usual sweaty betty top. And actually, I've got leggings on today. I usually wear shorts, but it's given winter. So I've chucked on my leggings. And they're just the comfiest. I just love this wrap round waist. It's just so flattering. But anyway. Uh, and this is a Frankie shop blazer, which I'm definitely going to get in black. Anyway, I need to stop rambling and head out the door. Starting this very, very gloomy morning with a chia pudding made over with my leftover almond butter. There was like a little bit left in the bottom, so I made the most of the jar. You know, and you got all those like little bits and bobs of the almond butter or peanut butter like left over, and you're trying to scrape it. Use this to make you like matches, smoothies, chia puddings, and it's just delicious. This has got chia pudding, coconut, des designated coconut, maca, obviously almond butter, pinch of salt and water, and some banana. And that is going to fuel me for my morning Pilates class. is a little later now i am currently just filming some bits and bobs at home and one of the pieces of content that i am filming is basically me styling up the william mirror and you may have seen that i got it uh, a couple of weeks ago or a month or so ago when i had covid but i've just been meaning to hang it up and decorate the space but i need my dad to come along and pop it up for me so it's currently leaning so i kind of i kind of like avoided styling it but it was just it was getting a bit annoying and i just felt like my room just felt so unfinished so this has given me the opportunity to just really sort out my bedroom keep it really minimal and that's what i've done it also has inspired me maybe to change the colors colors up in my room and i'm talking about the prints in my picture frames but what i'm going to do is go do a little again i think i can't remember the last time i did it but i wanted to show you what i've done and what i'm planning to do in here so this is the bedroom setup so you've got the lovely chest of drawers with the gorgeous William mirror. I've just styled it very very sweet and just very minimal and I just absolutely love it. As you can see I've brought my Pookie lamp in here which actually Pookie have launched some new uh, portable lamps which I will leave down below because they look amazing. My friend Matilda has just done a campaign with them um, and I think I might have to get some more because I just love the ability and the versatility of moving these around and changing it up and you don't get those ugly wires or anything like that which i just love and also as well they're just amazing for alfresco weather and a bit more like outdoors on your balcony i just think they are divine and you can just play around with the lampshades the lampshade i've actually currently got on here is from home sense my friend francesca very kindly bought it for me decorated this very classically so we've got the tones of the green khaki scallop 
have a lovely candle and I actually just have some of my favourite fragrances out. So this is actually a new one from Fleur. This is Soft Spot and it's very beautiful. I just thought I'd go with the vibe. My makeup brushes because I do sit here and do my makeup and a gorgeous bouquet of flowers that I did treat myself to. I'm not a colourful girl as you may know but this vintage pastel pink rose is just divine. I absolutely love it. It's currently actually in a Oliver and Bonus green jug because I thought the green would go really lovely with the lampshade but yeah and then I'll try and zoom in but this mirror is just beautiful and it's very much my taste in the sense of the kind of like vintage um kind of washed gold it's got on the sides very thin as well which I love and it's this really gorgeous quite tall arch mirror I am planning on hanging it up like I said but for the meantime it looks very beautiful in here and it is sitting on a swoon chest of drawers and I just think that looks absolutely beautiful and then this is the rest of the bedroom. I keep chopping and changing with the pillows, but I am really loving this styling. I think because I haven't finished the styling in the lounge, I just keep moving bits and bobs around. So the actual stripe pillowcase is from a lovely lady I know called By Lydia. And she actually does headboards, which I am very much contemplating getting. If you can see, it's this beautiful brown and white stripe. And she actually does matching headboards, like this, like this really gorgeous scallop and stripe detail. I will leave her down below, but I'll also pop a picture so you can get an idea of what it would look like. And I feel like they would go really beautifully with the furniture and all the rest of the, um, the accessories. The one thing I am contemplating changing, I do love them, but maybe they go somewhere else, are my Graham and Green, oh, the airplanes are going crazy, Graham and Green coral picture frames. I love them so much, and I think they are so beautiful and classic. I just don't think it suits my room anymore. Maybe I go for um, a bit more of like a classic English plant um, and a bit more of like green and brown tones i do love the picture frame so maybe i can just swap the pictures out maybe i could print them myself to be fair because they are just they've done this like really nice like wash even my friend bless her mum she um bought these as well and she panicked because she thought something had ruined the prints but she didn't realize that it was actually the design to make it a bit more like antique -y. i am actually going to an antique road I've got a couple of antique trips actually coming up, so I'll definitely take you along to, with those for those. But yeah, I just feel like the blue is lovely, but I think with the colour scheme I do have in here, I feel like it just doesn't work, especially if I get the brown, and then I've got the green tones by the chest of drawers. I feel like I need to swap them out. So yeah, other than that, it just feels very lovely, very fresh in here, and just very put together. In the hallway though, it's it's not that. Um, I've kind of literally just thrown everything out and I actually want to do a wardrobe clean as well because it's becoming that time of year where it's that transitional period and I just need to pack away my summer stuff, get out my old winter stuff and see what I love and don't want and I think just have a proper detox. I love to do this every season every like month um my friend jess is actually going to come and help me do it as well as i'm going to be popping it all on vintage and a couple of designer pieces on vestiaire because some of them need approval for um that it's legit designer pieces so yeah so that is my little room tour and it's just feeling very zen and very fresh for um the weekend ahead of me i've got a really lovely night in tonight because i have been very social which has been delightful but i need a night in because tomorrow it's going to be it's going to be a heavy one because it's my brother's birthday but yeah very happy with how my bedroom is looking the color of those jokes are incredible this is a quick egg avo salad with kimchi and balsamic vinegar whilst i upload the margate vlog how cute honestly this was just such the cutest little night away it was so lovely so if you haven't watched this margate vlog definitely check it out okay i'm just about to head out the door the house is feeling 
very organized there's some things i want to do to clean up like the bathroom i still need to do it still looks quite clean but just bits and bobs like that but i'm going to do that over the weekend i am going to head out to the shops quickly and pick up some groceries i just want to go get some sweet potatoes from my local fruit and veg shop and then i'm gonna sit down and chill whilst i roast a chicken for the weekend as well just thought it'd be really nice to have in the fridge just ready to go i'm in tonight and then also as well for sunday monday it'll be really lovely as well as if i come home quite pickled tomorrow it'll be quite nice to have some chicken in the fridge um so yes the house is feeling good everything's in the recycling bins and put away a lovely roast chicken for the weekend it's looking lovely i've also got some ooh, broccoli and peas cooking i've also got a sweet potato cooking as well so i'm going to carve a bit of this and then let this cool down so i can put it in the fridge and plate up some dinner This vlog is going to be a little bit all over the show as I feel like I got into a little bit of a funk with vlogging and I really enjoyed it, don't get me wrong. I feel like I just needed a little break from it. Like I said, I am picking up the vlogging camera on a Thursday, a Thursday afternoon. I am quickly getting ready as I've got my girls coming over tonight. I am having some bubbles and nibbles at mine and then Molly, Arletta and I are heading over to Sacconi's in Mayfair to have some dinner. We're celebrating the Molly's birthday today which will be really lovely. Um, so for some reason in the household the theme is blue today. I've just received the most gorgeous, very flattering dress from a really beautiful boutique called Anne Louise. I am completely obsessed. I was a bit nervous at first because I thought it was a bit too big for me and this is their smallest size. However, it's got a really lovely bow detail at the back so it's adjustable, which is incredible. And I feel like this is a really lovely blue colour for the transitional season we're just about to head into because it's still glorious and sun sunny outside. But I feel like this is a really nice like nod to the denim blue colourway and I absolutely love it. It's in a really lovely linen and I just think for this time of year it is just divine. So I've just been frolicking around the house in this. It's just such an easy comfy dress and then I'm going to chuck on another dress later for this evening. But like I said I have been just kind of zhuzhing the house, putting things together. Um, I'm going to light a couple of candles and put my little white company diffuser on just so the house is smelling lovely and then get the house ready and music playing for my guests to arrive like i said i've got this um white company diffuser and i've currently got the fragrance peony i'm actually running low but it's just a really lovely beautiful way to just add some gorgeous scents into your house
guys it is the next day i had the loveliest the loveliest evening with my best friends honestly it was so perfect i had molly and jess over for some champagne some nibbles they raided under my bed under my bed is actually where all my products are i have tons so i actually adore when my friends come and they can just pick whatever they want it makes me feel very feel so grateful that i can give them some beautiful products that are going to go to a lovely home and jess actually picked loads up for her younger sister as well because her younger sister zoe is like super into her makeup and skincare and all like the tiktok makeup bits and bobs which i personally am not into it's such an honor that I was able to do that for her. Um, but yeah, so then we went to Sacconi's in Mayfair, which is one of my favorite places. They do the best gluten-free pasta. It is just divine. Lovely evening with my girls, lots of wine, pasta. It was just so perfect. And I'm up early. I've just been filming a lovely makeup look with Bourgeois. Bourgeois to me is just such a nostalgic brand this reminds me of my nan my dad's mum she is super into her makeup always looks so glamorous she is in her 80s now and she still does her eyelashes i think still here and there but um from day one of me being born i've always known that woman to have lilac or blue eyeshadow and then she actually has her fake eyelashes on top and on bottom and i used to sit with her at her dressing table in spain and watch her use bourgeois eyeshadow products so for me this is like such a nostalgic spin around moment for me that i get to work with them on a makeup campaign and as you can see i've got the gorgeous red lip on which i'm thinking it's actually really lovely with a white dress usually i'd save a red for obviously winter and like the party season but a white dress and a red lip is just it's so lovely and i actually might do this more often but anyway so yeah so that's what i've been doing this morning bright and early but yeah i've got a really lovely day today i actually have india come to stay over um tonight i don't i think she's stayed over. no she has stayed over before right at the beginning um but we haven't had a proper catch-up in such a long time and this is so truly overdue so today we're going to shoot some content and then we have a lovely sorry my nose is running then we have a lovely dinner at Havada which I know the owner and they've very kindly invited us and it is delicious it's very like Greek food lots of feta and oh, sashimi it's delightful and then tomorrow we've got Pilates class so a really lovely girly oh evening but yeah i will leave um the reel of this down below it might have been live by the time you're watching this so if it is i will leave it down below because it's just such a fresh gorgeous look i'm just pairing it with my forever new dress which i just adore i just think this is such a lovely dress i actually wore it last night it's just such a gorgeous feels very formal as well because i love the structure of it it's just a very good dress um, that I love to still wear and I feel like with a trench coat as well it would look really good anyway I'm rambling I need to crack on with editing this and send this over to the brand and then get myself ready to go and meet up with India to shoot some content in this glorious sunshine okay if I quickly do a little outfit of the day because I love this outfit and I feel like these pieces are going to work really hard in my transitional wardrobe. As you saw from a previous vlog, I did a little haul from Reese and so I am wearing a full Reese outfit with some Celine belt and sandals and this really gorgeous suede bag. I can't remember the name of it so I'll leave it down below. But yeah, I've gone for a very tonal white and brown look which i love and then i've got a really gorgeous blue linen dress which oh i wore yesterday i'm gonna shoot that with some brown tones as well outfit one done as you can see it is glorious sunshine outside i'm at the Saatchi gallery we just sat down at bardo to have a nice coffee we needed a we needed a break you know we're just taking it very slow today but i'm with in such a nice day oh it's glorious I was telling them we've got a lovely like day oh and night I know. morning in the spot. Have you yeah. been there for dinner? Yes, I have. I've been a couple of times. Um, really lovely. It's Greek food. Mm, nice. And they do a delicious bread. It's cool vibes, but I've never been on Friday, so it's excited to see what they Yeah, I'm surprised they like, invited us down. Yeah. On a Friday. <laughs> on a Friday night. But yeah, Friday night. that is our plans for today. <laughs> 
iced coffees. Very classy, and now we are really taking it very delightful. Right, I thought I'd quickly do a little outfit of the day. I'm wearing this really cute Anne Louise boutique dress. I know we're coming into autumn, but I feel like this navy blue, it's kind of like a denim blue, and it's given like that really lovely transitional summer to autumn feels, and I just love it. And then I've just paired it with my Pauline bag, which is really cute. But yeah, this is my second outfit of the day. We have the best post Friday photo shoot snacks and hydration. Oh, hydration. and hydration. <laughs> Happy Friday, honey. Chin chin. Oh my god. That might be one of the best things I've ever drank. I think my taste buds have changed. Oh, we just keep chasing. <laughs> Just cheers again. Um, Happy Friday. You don't like things and then all of a sudden you do. I like olives. I like every food apart from anchovies. I love anchovies. I love wine. I love. I love. I love it. I love it. You used to be like a massive like cocktail girl, like raspberry mojito. <gasps> wow, she's changed. What's on the menu for tonight? <laughs> it's happening. We're ready. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you make that hat look cute? <gasps> it's happened. You look cute. It looks so oh, I love the grey. Yeah, with the glass. Oh, guys. Okay. <laughs> what do we think? Do I need all of it? Oh, we Can need I all of it. For my birthday. Oh my god, yeah, your birthday's. I love that we're in summer outfits and we have cashmere on. <laughs> I love. I need this. <laughs> said she wasn't gonna buy anything okay we have done a quick turnaround i'm looking very tanned we've just shushed up i've actually put on quickly the buy have you tried it yet i feel yeah. like you're gonna love it the by terry tea to tan it's like an instant quick glow yeah and you just spray it on really and it's like a lovely instant tan okay maybe i need to do it on your arms like it honestly is the best thing ever i just <laughs> No, you do it now. Oh, you do it like, so you're like oh, can you do it on my arms? Yeah, so before you go out. Even though I'm wearing black? Yeah. <gasps> so on your arms and you just like brush it on and it's just okay. it's like the little touches. So yeah, I've just shushed myself up. But I've gone for, I've gone for a very minimal, very demure um, outfit for tonight. And I've also just bought some new, I've just bought some new Mango Hills. They're really cute. They're these like little kitten heels with the little bows and they were only 30 pounds. Yeah, really happy with those. Hopefully they don't blister my feet, but maybe tonight will tell. We shall see, but yeah, I've got a little vest on, little silk skirt, and then my out net bag. And then ins, we're like matching. Oh, Come on ins, okay. coming to the show. She's in a little leopard number as well. Leopard and brown. Very demure. Very mindful, very, very cute. Mindful. Very mindful. Very very careful. Cutesy. I'm not too sure. <laughs> but we are literally, we've done literally like a 10 minute turnaround. It's yeah. just divine. Speedy, speedy. And we're off to Havada for some margaritas. But first, Greek. I'm going to show Inns the tea to tan because it. it's a fantastic. Okay, so this, this is it. Actually, I love this. So what you do is, I don't know if I'll do it on you. So you literally, so, and then you blend it in. What the hell? No, it really it's sorted out my fake tan patchiness because yeah. I'm due to smell. Yeah. And you can do this on your face. No, really? Yeah. Wait, what's it called? By Terry. By Terry Tea to Tan. Right. Okay. I'm mm. gonna bring this for Ibiza, maybe for the wedding. For the wedding. I'm a bridesmaid. Let's see. Don't buy. Yeah. Okay. Little blend. Sorry, I'm just using so no. much. This is, we've got to be careful. You've got to just wherever you want it, and it just makes you, and it smells. Yeah, guys, the smell right now, you need to be in the smells bathroom. smells divine. Like, does it develop? No, so it's just kind of like... A bit of a glow? Yeah. <gasps> so you just like, when we come home and shower, you just wash it off? Yeah. Okay. And then I do Thank love you, to honey. mix it with, I haven't got it, but the Nukes, 
this <gasps> in the glittery gold uh, with, with that. this. Okay, oh, phenomenal. I need to need to jump on that. I feel like a new woman. It's good, isn't it? And it just gives you this little little holiday. They're ready. <laughs> Delightful. It's like a whipped garlic yogurty thing. Who knows? Who knows? But it is wow. great. And then we've got a tuna tartar. Mm. Yeah. The most delightful dinner. It was so lovely. We're probably better speaking in here because the music out there is. It's quite loud. It's loud. But the food is divine. We had the set menu and would recommend to a friend. That was gorgeous. Unreal. And now we're just gonna go and set the bar and have a drink because why not? <laughs> Basically, why not? We are. <laughs> you can tell that like, we like a drink, but we're not good at drinking. I might get a Tommy's. Is that the like a classic? I'll join you for the class. Oh my god, I need to stop shortening the class. I'll join you for the class. Right. We've just done a Pilates class. Good morning. Did you enjoy it? Loved every minute. <laughs> Do you know what it is? It's my injured chest. Is that I? Um, I like right now. It's like. Bless you. But I'm good. She's it good. Was fun. It was fun. It's good. doesn't Saturday down. No, I don't. Just me. We're gonna go get brunch now. Almost flat, do you know what I mean? It's not Ooh. good. Okay, so I'm not gonna do the butter, but I'll do the no. miso and the Let's pepper. Do it. A bit of olive oil. Yeah. That's it, that'd be, that'd be fine. And leave it out. Yeah. Gorgeous. A super, super hot pan before you put it in. Don't, don't, don't heat the pan up with the steak in it. Make sure the pan's. Super hot. Super hot, and then just drop in so it hit, you know hits it. Okay, and then would you leave it to rest after? As, yeah, as long as you cook it, they reckon you should rest it as long as it's just more, you know, ten minutes. Oh, it really? Takes a few minutes to cook, doesn't it? Yeah. She's cooking yeah. steak. Got a decent, decent drop of uh, decent drop of red to go with it. Uh, no, well, I drank the last couple of nights, so I'm having a chilled one no. tonight. Right. No. I know, sorry father. James Martin, he has started back again properly. Oh, he is back. Yeah. So yeah, glad. Oh, I'll watch that now as well. Oh, oh how exciting. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. Look at me, night in, steak and James Martin. <laughs> you are rock and roll. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but that was my dad on the phone. I have just bought myself a steak to cook for dinner tonight and I needed the tips and tricks because I've never actually cooked a steak and it's something that I do want to nail and I feel like I have to nail if I'm going to find my husband. I feel like that's a good skill to have is to be able to cook a really good steak. <laughs> Obviously not a necessity but I'm joking. But anyway, it was such a lovely evening uh, last night with Inns. It was just so lovely and then this morning we went to a really lovely Pilates class and breakfast and now she's gone home but it was just really nice we haven't done that in such a long time and um, so it was really nice to catch up and just chill and like have a full time together I have only seen her really for like quick coffees or breakfast so it was really nice to spend some time with her um, and just yeah just talk about everything so really really lovely evening um, but yeah I've just had the loveliest last couple of days with my girlies and now it's some me time I really enjoy having this like time to myself it's just something that i just adore and just recharge and get things done so i'm kind of seeing this day as a working day as i kind of took thursday and friday quite leisurely um so i'm gonna get cozy i'm gonna zhuzh the house make sure it's all fresh and clean um set it all up nice and cozy and then get on the sofa again and do a lot of editing because i have got a lot to edit i've got some jobs i need to send off and yeah, I'm gonna watch some TV. I'm really fancy in watching Sex in the City, the series, because I feel like that's just a good classic if you haven't watched it. And just do nothing. It's gonna be divine. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have made my steak with some grilled broccoli and courgette on a bed of rocket Then I made a kind of like salsa verde to go on my steak So now I'm going to tuck into this and I've just put on Sex and the City the series I've also got some eye masks on This is a very lovely Saturday night in Sex and the City is on I have a steak, I have eye masks on and I'm very much ready for an early night. So I'm actually going to leave the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.